Brothers chipped Harrington surprisingly on the field in place of John Short, while halfback John Hurley has recovered from injury, and he's expected to be one of the key men in the lineup before a crowd of about 20,000. West's fullback Greg McCarthy could be a problem for Brothers defence, but overall it looks a well balanced team for the knockout preliminary final. And it's West running from the northern end of the ground with Stewart putting it deep into Brothers territory, and the first mistake of the match with the centre or rather the winger O'Keefe in 14 jersey, knocking the ball on. O'Keefe, the replacement for the injured O'Donnell in Brothers' lineup this week. First mistake of the match. So an important scrum and a great start for West. Anyway, five metres out from Brothers' line. Referee for the match is Bernie Pramberg. It's Hurley's ball into the scrum and into touch, a penalty to Brothers. So that gives Brothers the opportunity to clear their own line feet up in the scrum and I think um, Prickett showing some concern about West's inability in recent matches to get some ball and endeavouring uh, early in the match to get some ball for them and of course that first scrum was vital had West won it they would have been on the attack deep in Brothers territory and so it's Brothers still inside their quarter line as Chips Harrington on the field for Brothers today Short was announced as the front row forward but it's Harrington in the front row in this early part of the match at least as the pass comes out wide with a fullback moving into the line very quickly and uh, it's power to play it back 30 metres out from the line. David Wright there in position to take it. There's Wright and sending it back to Rafton and down the middle comes the hooker Keane. Now Keane was also out injured last week for Brothers. Is uh, back in the lineup and uh, that's on to Bob Cock wearing 18 jersey but playing in the second row. Brothers 30 metres out from their own line. The ball knocked on. Uh, a little bit of nerves by Ryan, the 5 8 at this early stage of the match. It's been a very tame affair so far. There's been very little fire and. Uh not a lot of determined play from either side. And it's a brother's ball again, getting a feast of ball as it comes to power. Eventually stopped. Rafton, dummy half for brothers. Harrington on the blind side. Feel the weight and straight on to Hannon. Hannon running hard. So brothers only 10 metres out from West Line. Keen in the dummy half position. And uh, Harrington losing it and then getting it back to Hurley. Slipping under the tackle of McCarthy's. Bob Cox into the dummy half position. Harrington with Cox tries to force his way over. Inches away from the line, ever so close. Harrington left injured further back, but slowly to his feet now. And this is fullback power. Keane into the dummy half position. Harrington running onto it. And Harrington tries to get through, gets it back to Keane. And Keane tries to get it down very close. But it's a penalty. Penalty to Brothers. David Wright running and appealing for a try. Maybe Keane got the ball down. It was difficult to see on the screen, but maybe he did get the ball down because Wright went in appealing for the try, but the penalty's been given against one of the West players for throwing a punch in the tackle, and now here's a chance for Brothers to register the, register the first points in this match. Brothers fullback Alan Power attempting his first kick at goal. The score is nil all, and up go the flags. And that's a great relief for Alan Power and Brothers. And they lead 2-0 after eight minutes. Stewart's in the dummy half position as it comes to Williamson. That's Max Williamson playing in the front row. And uh, player injured, the ambulance attendant's Keane suffered an injury there. And the referee was very quick to halt play and call the ambulance attendant across to uh, Keane. It's an injury to the arm or the wrist and it doesn't look good. Harrington uh, seems to be leaving the field as well, so two players will probably be be replaced. Yes, you don't see that very often, particularly in finals. Well, we have Short coming onto the field now to David Wright. And this is Hannon, the second row, bursting through, breaking the first tackle of Williamson's. And the knock-on to be played in Brothers territory, nine metres short of halfway. Brothers lead 2-0 after 18 minutes. Brothers unable to hold onto the ball for a long period of time. West ball again to Richardson, their second scrum today. Oliphant sending it across to the fullback. On to Cameron. Cameron's got his winger outside of him. Very well done, West. Here's Richardson. Richardson bombs lobs it back to McCarthy. McCarthy looks around and back it comes in. Flying for the corner is Reardon. Reardon's nearly over. Reardon's over. A great try. What a brilliant try. That's the only way to describe it. There was a player there whenever the man with the ball was caught. And that was the, the secret to it all. It was back up. And here we have it on the replay. West second scrum to Richardson, to Oliphant doubling around. There it goes to Cameron. He does most of the running. But look at the support come on the inside. Richardson flicks one over the top. And there's McCarthy. He looks back on the outside. And there's the try scorer, Reardon. And he's in for the try. Certainly a magnificent try. 
We'll have a look at it from our, our new position with our roving camera. Wayne Stewart, the kicker. West are leading 3-2. You'll get a great view of this. And there it goes. And waved away. Hitting that upright. Very close. It looked for a moment as if it was going through. Didn't it? We rejoin play with the first incident of the match. Eight minutes before half-time. No change in the score. And there, and Bob Cock retaliates. It was right round the neck. And uh, it certainly looked bad. And it's on for young and old. Cock not very happy about that tackle. And it was a vicious high tackle from Harry Cameron. There was no need for it. But uh, the penalty, of course, will go to Brothers. But the, re the change in this Brothers side will be... O'Donnell going onto the wing and O'Keefe going into the centres and I think Beecham may be the player who goes into the 5-8 position. Yes, that could well be, but that was the only nasty incident we've seen in this match uh, after 34 minutes, 33 minutes of play. Wester leading 5-2 and it certainly was a, a very hefty one for uh, Bob Cock to take. Brothers second row forward in 18 jersey. Um, that would have to be a penalty to uh, Brothers and a, a very stiff warning to Harry Cameron. And there's the penalty to Brothers. And uh, no doubt they'd be hoping, uh, sorry, that they haven't got a kicker. I'll be in doubt's ability. Greg Oliver there was uh, foxing for the scrum to be packed. He called all the West pack up and uh, thinking that he might bluff uh, referee Bernie Prandberg yes. in to give the scrum. But of course, the penalty had already been awarded before the uh, ruckus started. Yes, I think that was wishful thinking somehow or other. And uh, so we'll see Alan Power have another kick at goal. Actually, he had a very good attempt that one that just missed the left hand upright before from right near the touch line and this one's about 12 meters in from touch he's had uh, three attempts and kicked uh, one goal one from three West have scored the only try of the match that one scored by Reardon in the 18th minute of play and West lead by five points to two. Six minutes before half time. About three or four metres outside the quarter line and 12 metres in from touch. Brothers badly need more points. And a kick goal. Oh, a shocker. Out to Richardson, but it's taken by Creer in the centres. And Steve Creer to play it back for West, 10 metres out from their line. West must be feeling pretty safe now with the goal kicking of Brothers. Certainly it's going to be very hard for Brothers to score points and it looks as if it's going to be hard for them to score tries the way West are defending. This is Bradshaw. The wing out Reardon comes in. There's Reardon running from the dummy half position. Prickett to distribute the hooker and uh, or go himself on the blind side. The Brothers have had three changes in their lineup. Harrington, Keane and uh, Ryan have all left the field, all been replaced. Richardson, very long, deep kick from Richardson. Power dropping back. And a difficult one. The bounce is awkward, finally getting to it. McCarthy's there, but he's away from McCarthy. And uh, the ball was lost. Fight for possession between Rafton, but the West player has the ball. And uh, so West in possession, 30 metres out to Richardson and Bradshaw. And they uh, turn back again. This is uh, Bradshaw this time. And uh, he's about 24 metres out. Rebo's into the dummy half position. Uh, to Oliphant and Cameron. Breaks the first tackle and uh, looks for the support with Creer up alongside of him and Stewart outside of him. Oliphant. And Oli that's McCarthy. Prickett's into the dummy half position. The green. And uh, that's the replacement forward, Henry Williamson. Prickett, Green, Bob Green, the skipper of West today. His brothers are led by David Wright, another front row forward. Prickett's in the dummy half position, only 15 metres out from the line. Richardson puts one up into the goal mouth. It's a good kick from Richardson. Look at West flying through there. It's anyone's ball. Picked up McCarthy, couldn't pick it up. He tried to get to it and knocked the ball forward, and that would have been a try. He couldn't get it the first time. He knocked it on the first time from uh, his own side of the try line knocked it over the try line but of course it was a knock-on. Well, that was a let-off for Brothers. Very close one for Wests. And uh, Brothers ball, Hurlihy. 
Brothers uh, are leading in the scrums by seven to four after winning the first six scrums straight. And now Power, the fullback, running across field, runs into bother. One of the tacklers, Creer, the blonde headed centre for West. And uh, this is uh, Quinn losing the ball. It's a West ball. And that's a, uh, Richardson getting it back to Prickett. Prickett's only eight metres out from the line. Can West score again before the ha half time uh, hooter sounds to Oliphant? And back inside then, Williamson striding through and taken by the brothers player. Shooting out of his arms and his power, the full, full back rather, hand on the second row, taking play up. Just when Williamson looked almost certain to go through, uh, brothers have taken possession. On to right, David Wright steadying it and can't get the pass away as Green comes over the top. Franklin, again Green the tackler. David Wright's little dummy half position himself this time. And it goes to Hurley here, the halfback, and there's Bob Cock, caught by the halfback Oliphant. Brothers 30 metres out from the own line, Hurley and Quinn, switching it back to Hurley, and that's stretching West defence now as it comes across, but he didn't get it further out with players everywhere across field, but perhaps just standing a little bit too deep as it comes across to David Wright, uh, then to the new player on the field, O'Donnell, putting his boot to it. There's an O'Keefe and a good kick too. A good kick indeed, it was O'Keefe, the kicker. O'Keefe in 14 jersey made the kick and finds touch on West Porter line. O'Donnell's on the wing and O'Keefe playing in the 5-8 position. West leading 5-2, only two minutes before half time. It hasn't been a, a, the most spectacular game, but we've had a few brilliant patches, including that great try by West. And this is Oliphant, West ball. McCarthy, fullbacks into the dummy half position, and uh, that's Bradshaw. Pickett's there to Green and Young. Pickett, Green. Oliphant, and uh, that's Bradshaw. Uh, Richardson down to uh, brothers winger Russell and here's Russell running across field again trying to make that break that he did before but uh, West are watching him closely this time as he straightens up in midfield Oliphant the main tackler uh, brothers O'Keefe power rather the fullback now uh, Franklin the hookers into the dummy half position David Wright and uh, holding defenders off everywhere. Hurlihy's in possession. And West take the ball. Bob Green takes the ball off Hurlihy. So it's West ball. Henry Williamson into the dummy half position. The replacement for his brother, Max Williamson. There he is, Henry. 15 metres inside Brothers territory. Brothers look as if they've got an uphill battle, certainly at this stage, just before half time. They only trail 5-2, but West are looking much the better team. And there's a good break then by the second row of Bradshaw, trying to break... Uh, Rebo and Rebo on the quarter line. That's it for half time. West are leading 5 2. And as brothers to start play in the second half, running from the northern end of the ground. No changes to either team at the start of the second half with Rebo, West lock forward, tackled by Franklin, 30 metres out from his own line. Prickett to distribute as it comes to Young. Prickett again there with the dust flying up everywhere with Green sending it on to Cameron, the centre. Prickett. Henry Williamson's at the dummy half position this time to uh, the half back and uh, here's Young. One tackle to go, indicates referee Bernie Pramberg, six metres short of the halfway mark, Richardson. Cross to uh, O'Donnell. Just inside Brothers quarter line, and that's Quinn. Uh, Franklin, and uh, switched back by David Wright to Short. John Short, the front row forward, replaced Harrington very early in the game. To Hurley, he the half back, and Bob Cock running onto it. Brothers will really have to do something in this early part of the second half, or certainly in the second half overall, 
West are leading 5-2 in these bright sunny conditions as it comes across then from David Wright, the fullback power into the movement. Quinn, Wright, and Quinn, the centre. Graham Quinn beats the first tackle, sends it on to Hurley. He ups alongside of him, a little halfback. That's a six tackle. Scrum 12 metres inside West Territory. But you, did you notice when Quinn got that half break that there was only one brother's player in support, and that was Hurley. He, the other standing back and watching Quinn run. And a penalty to brothers from the scrum. Second row by halfback Greg Oliphant, uh, feeding his own hooker. And let's see, is... Uh, What's going to happen? It's O'Keefe who's going to take a kick at goal. Uh, Alan Power has kicked one from four attempts and that was a very easy one in front. He also missed a very easy one in front. And so it's O'Keefe who's playing in the 5-8 position after starting on the wing to take this kick at goal about 12 or 13 metres in from, uh, from halfway and about 15, perhaps 18 metres in from touch. So it's not that far off centre flags are quite still at both ends of the post. It's now a very warm afternoon indeed with the breeze dropping away. It was only a slight breeze earlier. West are leading 5-2. Brothers badly need to find a goal kicker as O'Keefe comes in. And he's raised the flags. This is a roar from the crowd. O'Keefe, his first kick at goal, has landed it. And so that closes the gap to one point. West leading Brothers 5-4. That's the shot in the arm that Brothers needed at this stage, so early in the second half, and uh, there's no doubt, had they had their champion goal kicker Ian Dow, they would have been well and truly in this match because there were a couple of those kicks that were missed by power that Dow would have kicked. And West restart play, with Stewart putting it deep into Brothers' territory and the ball running dead. And so Brothers will have to bring it back to the uh, uh, quarter line. Just a reminder about our big rugby league preview of the big one next Thursday night. Peter Mears previewing next Sunday's grand final at 9 o'clock next Thursday night. This is Franklin. And immediately after that, we'll have a repeat of the Sydney preliminary final between Manly and Canterbury, the match we had on last night originally. And this is across to Bob Cock. So it's the Sydney rugby league repeat next Thursday night at 9.30 at 9 o'clock. Just before that, the big one, Peter Mears preview of the big game next week against East in the grand final. The winner of this game to play East. Thursday night, ABC television, as the ball comes back, and uh, that's power coming through the fullback. Dust flying up everywhere in the centre of that uh, field, isn't it? David Wright. Brothers are looking more determined, a more purposeful side, as Bob Cock, just as I said that, putting it down, a bad pass for him. But uh, up to then, they're certainly making a, bit, a greater effort in the second half, I feel. I was thinking to myself that they're handling the ball much better and they're running with a lot more determination in the second half, brothers, but there we, just as we were thinking, that came the error. West are leading 5-4 after four minutes of play in the second half. And it's a penalty to West. Against brothers going down in the scrum, and yes, there's the last man on the ground, number 19, Ross Franklin. And Richardson kicks for the line. He finds touch about 24, 25 metres out. Reardon, the winger, takes it to Green, the skipper of the side, and here's Young. Prickett, dummy half. And Williamson, Henry Williamson, who replaced his brother Max in the first half. Now Prickett to distribute to Green, and switching it across as it comes to Richardson. And Cameron. Cameron intercepted by brothers, and... Uh, Referee saying it's all right, it's, uh, but it hit the brothers player and then came back and the West player regained balls. That's a lucky one for West, but they're only 10 metres out. Prickett's in the dummy half position to Williamson. Uh, the lock there, other, and it's switched back now. There's Young and Rebo. Prickett's dummy half, 10 metres out from brothers line. It's a penalty. Brothers standing right up and particularly Raft in the lock, well offside. And it's a penalty to West in front, and this should be a certain two points to Wayne Stewart coming across to take the kick. Brothers' defence is still far too weak on that blind side, and I can't understand West. They're normally very strong at attacking that blind side of the ruck, but they haven't done in this match, and they haven't done in this half. They are two rucks previous to that penalty being given, where Brothers' defence was non-existent down the left-hand side on a wide blind, and West didn't spot it and didn't play down that blind. 
West are leading 5-4 after six minutes of play in the second half. In very warm conditions, a very easy kick for Wayne Stewart, who has kicked one goal from three attempts today. But this is only 10 metres out, and uh, with our mobile camera, right behind the goal posts, uh, an excellent shot. I think you'll see it go right across that as those dots in the middle of the bar. How's that for prediction, Johnny Brown? A fearless prediction. Normally, um, Arthur, when you say that, he misses. <laughs> And Wayne Stewart, the kicker, and he's missed. Uh, one flag up, one no, both up now. One, one, <laughs> one touch judge actually dropped his flag, <laughs> and I thought, don't tell me. <laughs> but uh, even looking at that, it certainly swung away, didn't it? That flag was down, it couldn't be any lower, it was right on the ground. But a vital two points to uh, West, that <laughs> puts them uh, three in front, and of course they'll be looking for more points. And so West are leading 7-4, Rebo. Been watching the, the big match on ABC television. Green and uh, Williamson. Prickett, Oliphant, McCarthy, no, um, Young. John Young, 14 metres short of the halfway mark, still in West Territory. Prickett in the dummy half position to Oliphant and Richardson. And uh, Oliphant. Now, Young, one or the other. Richardson. And Rafton takes it for Brothers and a penalty to West. Against Ross Franklin for holding on to Richardson after he kicked the ball and that was silly play from Brothers. There was no need for that because Brothers would have had possession. It was an ill-directed kick from Richardson. Richardson. It takes play inside Brothers Territory by about nine metres with uh, Reardon, West's right winger, sent it on to Young. Tackled by Franklin, Reardon, and uh, this is Williamson. Henry Williamson making a few metres, Prickett to distribute. Bob Green, the skipper of the side, there's Green. And uh, down the middle comes Bradshaw. Prickett, and uh, that's Young. West leading 7-4. Prickett just outside Brothers quarter line. It's a half-backs pass to Richardson and Creer racing through. One tackle to go. To Richardson. And the high one into the goal mouth. Power dropping back and takes it well. Caught by McCarthy. Can't get away from McCarthy and forced to uh, force the ball. And so it's a, a drop out from the goal posts. Power not feeling very healthy after that tackle, but good defence from West getting up there. Of course, the, uh, they're good tactics, the up and under, because uh, not only does it, uh, is there a possibility of a try being on, but should the opposition handle the ball, you can pin them behind the try line and, uh, and receive possession from the dropout. And so it's West to take the ball up with uh, McCarthy, the fullback, on Brothers' quarter line to uh, the half-back and coming round is... is the lock Rebo playing forward and it's a penalty penalty to West against Ross Franklin for not being in front of the man as he played the ball forward Rebo got to his feet played the ball forward Franklin was almost behind him when he did that and Franklin made the tackle and so he was offside and so Wayne Stewart coming up to take another kick at goal West are leading 7-4 after 11 minutes of play in the second half only one try has been scored, and that was scored by West winger Ridden in the 18th minute of play, and what a boom of a try it was. But generally, it's been uh, a pretty stodgy uh, final-type game. Uninspiring uh, would be my description of it. We've seen very little bright, sparkling play. There's been no fire whatsoever. The de defence hasn't been all that uh, fiery and strong as it was in the uh, previous match between these two teams. And I think the... Uh, Lack of the, the teams lacking in handling and the basic fundamentals has spoiled the match and that they haven't been able to hold the ball for six tackles. Wayne Stewart, the kicker. And up go the flags again, so we're getting away with this game. 
And they lead Brothers by nine points to four. A very handy lead, the way this game's being played at five points after 11 minutes of play in the second half. West will be looking for that extra one point to put them more than a converted try in front. I'm sure they'll endeavour to kick the ball downfield, pin Brothers down there, and they look for possession to kick a one-pointer. West have received eight penalties in this match as it comes on to Reardon. Four of the penalties for offside and four from scrums. Now Prickett's into the dummy half position. There he goes. To Green and Young. And scrums, by the way, favour Brothers 7-5 to five, and the penalties 9-8 to Brothers as uh, West Lock Rebo has it. Strong run from Rebo and almost through. On the halfway mark in centre field, McCarthy the fullback's up there in the dummy half position. Away goes McCarthy. See that the brothers are very weak in the middle of their forward defence and gain quite a few metres. Rebo's there. On to Oliphant. Richardson. Power takes it. Just about. Not quite. Dived on by Prickett. Referee said that was OK. Played back to Young. He tries to play it to Young. Young to play it this time. And uh, that's Bradshaw, the second rower. Back again to Cameron, swooped on immediately. David Wright, the tackler. Young. Frickett. Green. And uh, there's Williamson. And back to cross, but put down by Bradshaw coming through, or Rebo. And uh, penalty to West. Brothers play a ruled offside. David Wright was the player. It was knocked down by Rafter, and David Wright, I think, got a boot to the ball, and uh, he was in an offside position. He's there questioning Bernie Pranberg now, but uh, it's no good made asking the question after the penalty's been given, but here's another two points for West, a vital two. This will put them more than a converted try in front. And a very easy one again. Wayne Stewart must be very pleased with these kicks he's getting in front. That's uh, three in a row almost. Uh, yes, the last three kicks all in front, or close to it. West are leading 9-4 after 13 minutes of play in the second half. The game's getting away from Brothers. West are looking the better side. Brothers are unable to handle the ball for the full six tackles, and West are capitalising on this, although West's attack hasn't been as brilliant today as it has been throughout this season. The winner of today's match will play East in the grand final here next week at Lang Park, because the loser is out for the season. In the C grade today, East beat West by 22 points to four to go to the grand final against Winner Manley. The reserve grade went to West's 14-5 to go to the grand final next week against Wynnum Manley. That's in reserve grade. Wayne Stewart, the kicker, 15 metres out. West leading 9-4, and there it goes. And up go the flags. West go to a lead of 11 points to four, and they've got a pretty firm grip on this game now. Well, what can brothers do to get out of the predicament they're in now? They must try and hold on to that ball. They've got to plug the blind sides of their ruck. They've been weak there all day. But the most vital thing is they must hold that ball when they get possession. McCarthy. And it's a brother's ball, short. Brothers 10 metres inside West Territory. To David Wright. And tries to push away from Williams. It does so too. Under Hannon, the second rower. Franklin's there to distribute Hurler here and uh, Keefe out in the 5-8. This Quinn, number three jersey, tackled by Cameron. Brothers about 18 metres inside. West Territory as David Wright distributes to John Short. Wests are moving up their tackles very quickly and cutting off Brothers' movements. Franklin to Hurler here to Wright. And uh, back it comes to Quinn, the pass across. Lucky for Brothers to retain possession. Rafton to play it back. Uh, referee uh, stopping play as Rafton obviously injured in the tackle. And the ambulance attendant called on. West are leading 11-4 after 16 minutes of play in the second half. The scrums are favouring brothers by 7-5. The penalties 9 all. West have scored the only try in the game. There's been very little in ball possession, but uh, West seem to do more with it when they have it. They appeared through the second half to have had more of ball possession than have brothers, but that is not the case. It's just that when they have it, they do more with it. We've had no completed scrums in the second half in the 15 minutes of play. Rafton. 
we saw in that foot to play the ball back to Franklin. And uh, that's uh, O'Keefe putting it high up. Down to uh, McCarthy, takes it well. And swooped on away from the first player, Hurlihy. And trailed across field by everyone, including the fullback, and he beats him. Power had missed him on this side and then missed him again on the far side and finally is into touch. And although he made probably 20 metres from where he took the fall, he's made a, an error for West because he's gone into touch. Yes, he didn't gain much ground either in that long run across field. Inside West quarter line, brother's ball as it comes on to David Wright to uh, Hurlihy and uh, this is uh, O'Keefe making a good run too. There's a chance then. Uh, uh, Beecham, it is Beecham for the corner across now to the wing up Russell and Russell's over. Well, that was a good try to brothers and just what they needed. Um, it was um, Beecham that made the inside running, I think, and it was a good run by him to hold the defence in. He just held that ball up for a fraction and allowed it to go to the wing. Here's the play. West defence had been drawn into that scrum. Now, brothers spread it very quickly across the field. Here he is. That's Beecham who does the run. He gets inside Cameron. Cameron's committed to him. So is the outside man in Stewart, but then he turns and chases. Though it was Reardon, the winger, was committed on the inside and then had to turn and chase and didn't have the pace to pick up Russell, who scored a good try. Well, they were the points that brothers so badly needed, and so it's one try each after 18 minutes of play. In the second half, West are leading now by four points. You see the importance of the goal kicks now with uh, West's one try each, but they lead by four points, 11 to 7. And it's O'Keefe taking the kick from a metre in from touch. It's a long kick for O'Keefe, and there it goes, but it's away. And so West hold their four-point lead. West leading 11-7. And I say it again, how badly brothers miss Ian Dow. They could be well and truly in this match with a first-class goal kicker. Rafton running back to his position in brothers' line-up with uh, a heavily strapped right foot ankle, uh, injured in that tackle before, but uh, certainly got plenty of strapping there. Deep into brothers' territory, power trapping it. And very well done, too. Uh, brother's fullback playing it back to uh, his uh, to right to uh, short John short brothers might get some heart from that try as it comes to Franklin to Hurlihy and Bob Cock and the short pass to Russell on the wing West keen to get him into touch but Russell's pretty strong that left winger for brothers and he wouldn't go in onto Hurlihy and David Wright and running onto it is Hannon the second row and Hannon very nearly through it was an ankle tackle from the fullback who was right from rather Oliphant who was right up there to put him to ground now that floating pass across to Beecham one tackle to go in the case referee Bernie Framberg and uh, brothers 5-8 O'Keefe puts it this is Rebo close to the halfway mark to Oliphant and uh, with the Dirt and dust blowing across the field. It's West in possession on the halfway mark with Young to play it back to Green and uh, Williamson. Cricket, Oliphant, Cameron there. And uh, out wide, it's a fullback McCarthy. Look at McCarthy chiming into the movement. Very well done. There's the winger, Stewart. Stewart breaks away from one tackle. Stewart to the corner, but the defence across, and the fullback was the last man in there. Power, I think it was. Very close. The touch judge flag was up about uh, 10 metres short of where the tackle was made. So Stewart must have put his foot into touch prior to getting clear of that first tackle. Just inside Brothers quarter line. West are leading 11-7. 20 minutes left in the match. It's Brothers ball again as it comes out wide now. And there's Beecham in the centres. Bit slow getting the pass to him. Cameron doesn't miss him this time. Very keen to get into Beecham. And uh, Reardon pushing him. Russell pushing him out of the way. Saying, come on, we want to get on with the game. But that was Cameron's idea, no doubt, to delay play. Beecham, dummy half, 10 metres short of the halfway mark. Brothers seem to be coming to life onto Bob Cock. And up to the halfway mark. Hurler, he's there. Across to O'Keefe. And Hannon, the second rower, as uh, Cock is hit as Richardson flies through. And uh, it's a penalty to Brothers against him trying to reef the ball away from the player who was effective to tackle. Well, 
Brothers were very slow in getting that ball wide. For three rucks, they played the ball back to the left or through the centre of the ruck, when in all those three rucks, very, uh, West were very weak on the outside. That was Richardson who made the tackle on short, and he came in from a wing position. There was not a West defender on the outside of Richardson, and yet Brothers had four attacking players on the outside of short. Had he been missed with that pass, it should have been a long pass over the top, missing him and giving the ball to the running players on the outside, and Brothers would have been well on the attack. And uh, so John Short's OK again from that uh, bump in the tackle, a pretty hefty one. Richardson wrapping him up just as he got the ball. But uh, Brothers, now to take the penalty, they were, were awarded with uh, power to take the kick. Wests are leading 11-7, one try each, 19 minutes left in the game. The preliminary final, knockout match, of course. The loser is out. The winner to play West in the, to, to play East in the grand final next week crowd of nearly 20,000 here today, but they'll be closer to 40,000 next week. Bob Cock on the blind side. Hurley, Hurley, he's over the quarter line. Look at little Hurley, can he beat the fullback? And Hurley, he's in. Hurley, he scored. The second try for Brothers. What a great try from the halfback. Well, it looked to me as though he might have bounced the ball. It'll be interesting to see on the replay. Hurley, he got there well. What a brilliant try it was by the little halfback. who's hurt there. He's injured. Seed number seven on the ground. That's John Hurley. He Here's the tap penalty, and watch how Bob Short slips a nice, Bob Cox slips a short pass to Hurlihy down this blind side. The double around a dummy, here it comes to Cox. He stands at the tackle, look now, watch Hurlihy. He gets around Reardon, gets on the outside, stands McCarthy up, and yes, a fair try. A good try to the halfback Hurlihy. And so, brothers are within one point of West. That's really given the game a big shake up. Brothers have scored two tries to one, and yet they still trail by one point. The tragedy of not having a goal kicker, but still, a lot rests on the uh, shoulders of O'Keefe taking this kick from right on the touchline. 18 minutes or so left in the game, West leading 11-10. Brothers have kicked two goals from six attempts. One to O'Keefe and one to Power, but they missed a couple of very easy ones in front. It's a very difficult and long kick for O'Keefe, and it's away to the right. So Wests uh, live again and lead by one point. But brothers have certainly been coming back strongly, and after they scored that try, they seem to get new heart. Yes, it was a revitalised brothers' side after that. They, run more, they ran more determinedly with the ball, and uh, players like Bob Cock now, it'll be up to them to run the same way as they have been in the last five minutes. And so Wayne Stewart restarts play. That's Russell, the brother's left winger. Shorts into the dummy half position. And there's John Short. Ross Franklin's there. And uh, here's David Wright. And still able to get the ball back, but it was a very difficult one for O'Keefe to try to hold on to. Worst player disputing possession, but uh, it's O'Keefe's ball for brothers. And Bob Cock runs from dummy half. Franklin looking back, Hurler, he's out here on this Hurler, he to take it. Now to David Wright and across them, further out to Rafton. Rafton thought his winger was covered, which he probably was too. And uh, it's Quinn in the dummy half to Hurley, he deep brothers now, as uh, it's O'Keefe who puts it high. And McCarthy takes it well. Trail through by Beecham and put the ground, five metres inside brothers' territory. Creer's in the dummy half position. And uh, Franklin, the tackler. Prickett's there to distribute for West to uh, Young, is it? No, it's uh, Oliphant, as a matter of fact. Not quite as big as Young. Greg Oliphant. Prickett. And Bob Green, the skipper of the side. And there's Cameron. And coming back inside is Bradshaw, the second row. Taking it off Cameron. 30 metres out from Brothers Line. West in possession to Oliphant. Richardson. And steaming through now comes the... Uh, Second comes uh, Henry Williamson. Richardson looking for the field goal attempt, most people thought, but it's an up and under into a goal now. Trouble for power as he watches it run dead. And so the referee indicating that he touched the ball. Yes, he touched it on the full. He endeavoured to take the ball on the full and run it clear of the try line, but uh, wasn't able to do so, wasn't able to take it first time up. And so going dead, he forced the ball dead over the dead ball line, so play will restart under the posts. Only 15 minutes left in the game. 
as it goes deep to uh, towards Creer, but it's taken by Bradshaw. Wests are leading by one point, 11-10. Oliphant. And that's Rebo. Uh, stopping as the tackler came at him, Quinn. Now to uh, Green. West in a strong attacking position on Brothers quarter line, but uh, taking a while to get going as Oliphant's pass comes across to Cameron, reversing it. And uh, Rafton was the player who went up high to Cameron to pull him back round by the uh, neck. And this is Prickett, and it's a penalty to West against Brothers standing right up. And so it looks as if they've given another two points away in front. There are three men inside the five metres, and there must there can only be two. There can be a man marking the, uh, the man play the ball, and there can be a second uh, defending ruck half directly behind that player. But Brothers had a third man behind within the, three, within the five metres. And so Wayne Stewart saying thank you very much. Just outside the quarter line, right in front. The breeze has swung around a bit and is right behind him, it seems, coming from the southwest. Wests in the second half have been given uh, six penalties and five of them have been for offside play by Brothers. Wests are leading 11-10 after 27 minutes of play in the second half. A very easy kick for Wayne Stewart. Stewart's goal kicking today. He's kicked four from six attempts. Wayne Stewart, the kicker. And up go the flags. And so that gives West a handy lead of three points. Brothers have to score a try at this stage to draw level. But looking at the scoreboard, the difference between the two teams is uh, goal kicking. But uh, in general play, I feel West have been by far the better side when in possession. They've uh, certainly looked uh, more convincing with the ball. And uh, that's Rebo going backwards with it. Short the tackler. Bradshaw's into the dummy half position. And there's Bradshaw. Tackled by Short. Prickett to Green. Williamson. Prickett. Shade from the grandstand covering most of the field now. Just that strip on the outside and the outer area about 10 metres with sunshine covering it. No doubt the players appreciate the shade from the stand as John Young makes a break. 10 metres short of the halfway mark. Still in West Territory, Green. Don't see him kick very often, and it's no wonder. Out on the full. West's not doing a lot with the ball in those six tackles. Quite content to play it safe and take no risks and make no errors. Oliphant's ball into the scrum. And it's a penalty to West. I think against the offside at the scrum, by indicated by referee Tranberg, he was indicating that there was a brothers player around the scrum that shouldn't have been there, and possibly it was halfback John Hurley. Penalties now favour West by 11 to 10. The scrum's going to brothers 9-5. Richardson's kick for the line in the earlier games in the C grade. East defeated West 22-4. In reserve grade, West beat South 14-5. The next week in the grand final in uh, C grade, East will play winner Manly. And in the reserve grade grand final, West play winner Manly. John Young to play it back to Prickett. 26 metres out from the line as it comes to Richardson. Interesting to notice statistics. Second half penalties have gone to West. 7-2. That's Prickett. Rebo, Prickett, it's very slow football, isn't it? Rebo, Green. Looking at this one, can see the difference between Queensland standard and Sydney standard, looking at the game yesterday, or last night. And it comes back to Richardson, that high one. And pushed back and straight over the dead ball line. So it'll be back to the 25 or back to the quarter line for Brothers to drop out. West are leading 13-10. Ten minutes left in the game. 
I wonder is it a dropout or a tap from the 25? No, it's a dropout, so it's... Um, it must have been hit by a West player yes. and uh, knocked uh, yeah. dead. And so the, the dropout from the quarter line. McCarthy, no, he thought he had it towed through by brothers as uh, O'Keefe tried to take it further but couldn't do so. That could have been a dangerous one. It's West Ball, 30 metres out from their own line to Creer. And uh, that's Williamson, isn't it? Can't see who that is. It's, uh, it's another player there for the moment. We'll pick him up later on. That's Carr. Carr's come onto the field. It's a new player in West lineup. We'll see who's uh, been replaced shortly, but we'll go on with the game until such times we can work things out. And uh, that's Williamson now taking play in 16 jersey up towards the halfway mark. So second, the front, the halfbacks pass to the uh, hooker, Prickett. West just inside Brothers Territory. Richardson. And Richardson kicks across. Not going to find the line, but it's well down to the try line with Brothers winger, Russell. Um, O'Donnell, rather, on that far side wing. Only a couple of metres out from the line. West are leading 13-10. And uh, we'll pick uh, that replacement up for Carr in a moment. Carr replaced Bradshaw in uh, in West's lineup, by the way. Carr's in uh, 15 in 15 jersey for West, as uh, brothers are trying to break it away from the line, coming across them to um, Beecham. To Hurley, and David Wright, and Bob Cock, and a long pass out wide then to Quinn, over there up to Raft, and it is a lock forward out wide, turning it back to Quinn, but he couldn't get to it. O'Donnell putting it down, and uh, O'Donnell the knock on to be played, about seven or eight metres short of the halfway mark. Well, that's the break that Brothers wanted, and they had both of their speed men there in Quinn, the man on the inside, and O'Donnell flying back on the inside of Quinn, and had Quinn got that ball, I'm sure he would have got to fullback McCarthy with O'Donnell unmarked in support. And it's a penalty to West, 10 metres inside Brothers territory. West are leading by 13 points to 10, only eight minutes left in the game. Well, and that could be the one that seals the match for West because it's a reasonably easy kick, although it's a fair way out for Stewart, but it's a reasonably easy one and that'll give them a five-point lead and it'll be difficult for Brothers to score a try with only ten minutes of play remaining, but it's a vital kick. No, he's not even going to attempt the two points. That's surprising. And it's Richardson that takes the kick and Richardson finds touch on Brothers' quarter line. The second kick to come. Carr into the lineup, replacing Bradshaw. And the pass to Green, the skipper of the side, as it comes back to Young, trying to batter his way through. West are only about 15 metres out from Brothers' line and leading by three points, 13 points to 10, with Prickett, the red-headed hooker, 12 metres out from the line. That's Williamson into the dummy half position. Here's Green, flick passing across to his halfback, Richardson. And uh, out wide is the lock forward, Rebo. Uh, well and truly held, just in from touch. Rebo to play it back. Richardson's up there to Oliphant. And uh, this time, the new player... On the field, is it? It's Carr. That's right, in 15 jersey. Carr's the player who is upended. Prickett's into the dummy half position to Oliphant. Richardson. And uh, a high tackle as Creer was coming through. Certainly got away from the worst of the high tackle. One tackle to go, indicates referee Bernie Framberg. Creer uh, obviously felt the effects of it, nevertheless, and looked pretty sick. Uh, Richardson putting the high one up into the uh, over the try line. McCarthy racing through. Power has trouble with it. Can't quite, finally gets to it. It was very close. Taken on by the West player. And it's a try to West. Power losing the ball. Cricket the player that scored the try. And well done referee Bernie Pranberg in allowing the play to go on because uh, he could have ruled a knock on by the brothers player who knocked it forward and then chased the ball for the second attempt at the ball. He did pick it up a second time. Here's the kick in the air. Now let's watch this. It's Power who comes racing across. Can't get a hand to it. Knocks it forward. Picks it up, then drops it. And uh, it's uh, Prickett there to pick it up and dive over and score the try. But uh, well done, referee Bernie Frambert. West lead brothers by 16 points to 10, and it's two tries each, with the kick to be taken by Wayne Stewart right out on the touchline. He's taking it out from the quarter line. It's only a metre or so in from touch. But it was quite clear, wasn't it, on that uh, action replay, the way Power lost the ball, and uh, Prickett was very quick to pick it up. Well, that almost so it definitely looks as if West have this game in the bag with only five minutes left. I was just going to say the same thing myself. After the six-point lead with a kick still to come, that means that brothers have to come back and score a try 
convert it and then score again. And that's a difficult job to do with only five minutes remaining. And West have uh, replaced Creer, who was injured in that high tackle before. He's been replaced by Thomas in number 14 jersey for West. This is uh, Stewart's kick and waved away. So the score remains at West six points in front, leading 16-10, five minutes left. Just repeating Thomas. There it goes, Thomas, replacing Creer in West back line. Gary Thomas. I was surprised that West did not kick for goal when they got that penalty, but their decision was vindicated because of the fact they scored the try. But I think what they endeavoured to do was close the play up and take no risks. We've only had two clean scrums in the second half, both won by brothers. And this is Williamson. Henry Williamson, who replaced brother Max uh, in the first half. Cars there in the uh, dummy half position. And uh, that's Prickett. He's had a very good game, West Hooker. Oliphant, dummy half, Green's outside of him to take it, the skipper of the side, there's Green. The winner of today's match will meet East in the grand final here next week, and the loser is out for the season, Bob Cock being called out for something he did in there. Yes, there was a little a swinging punch in the tackle from underneath by Bob Cock. They're becoming a little frustrated, brothers, that uh, things are not going their way, and West are just holding on to the ball and closing up play with only four minutes remaining. And the high penalty kick takes play just inside Brothers' territory. The overall scrums go to Brothers 9-5 and the penalties to West 13-10. And uh, that's John Young. Prickett to distribute and uh, Williamson takes it. Prickett there again, Oliphant's looking for the ball, there's Oliphant. And uh, further out is Carr, sending it on to Lock Rebo, working on the blind side. 12 metres inside Brothers Territory, to Green. And the referee calling for the ambulance, at, uh, something happening, oh, sending a player off the field, is he? Bob Cox sent off, yes. yes. Yes, Bob Cock being dismissed from the field. He'd just been cautioned for throwing a punch and there he came over the top with the knees and uh, Bob Green was the man with the ball, the West player number 11, feeling the effects of those knees and uh, Bob Cock now feeling the effects of them too, the effects of a shower. And so, brothers, they're down to 12 men but it won't make any difference, I think, at this stage. Only about two and a half minutes left and the game's all over by the shouting. West are leading by 16 points at 10 and they look certain to play East in the grand final here next week before a crowd of close on 40,000 people, a capacity gate as Prickett takes the ball 12 metres out from Brothers Line. This crowd of about 20,000, quite a few starting to leave the ground already as Williamson takes it. In the C grade grand final next week, East will play Wynnum Manley. In the reserve grade grand final, West play Wynnum Manley. And this is Richardson, the 5'8", sending it back to McCarthy, the fullback. Twelve metres out from Brothers Line. Bob Green to distribute. He's half back and uh, John Young running onto it. West are content to hold the ball without moving it a lot. There's no point in that. There's only two minutes left in the game. And Brothers have 12 men on the field as the play comes across with uh, McCarthy in trouble. But holds the ball. Richardson's there to go on the blind side. Try the little kick and following through at a great rate. Power takes it. And uh, in lots of trouble, held up over the line, so it's a dropout from the goalpost for Brothers. West have not been all that convincing today in their win because I felt Brothers have been weak on the blind side and two rucks prior to Richardson putting the ball in the air, they only had two men down a wide blind and West didn't capitalise on the weakness there. And this is taken by Richardson. What's your tip for the grand final, John? West to play East, Arthur. I see. <laughs> I now, I would think that um, on the performance of the teams, the referee Bernie Panberg penalising brothers and uh, taking the penalty further upfield now as the brothers players have uh, spoken back to him. But um, I think that on the performance of the teams in recent weeks, East must go into the final as uh, favourites, although one wonders about one game in four weeks as East have had, although I really feel that the team that does have the layoff is... Uh, uh, a little better prepared to go into the final but uh, that was when it was used to be four teams in the final and you only had the one week spell well now east have had one match in four weeks and that's not a lot of football this is stewart to take this easy penalty kick at goal uh, stewart 
has kicked five from seven today. And by the way, second half penalties in this match have gone to West to the tune of 11 to two. Second half penalties, 11 to two to West. Brothers have won the only two clean scrums. And there's a kick from Stewart. Up go the flags. And uh, so West go to the uh, commanding lead of 18 points to 10, right on the full-time hooter. Players coming back for the restart of play, but the referee said that's all over. And West have won the preliminary final and now go on to meet East in the grand final next week. West beating brothers 18-10.